Within 10 to 15 years after the extinction of the dinosaurs, many of the vacated ecological niches were occupied by mammals. In the middle of the Eocene, approximately 40 to 55 million years ago, a special family of predators, the Amphicyonids, originated in North America. To many lovers of paleontology, they are known as dog bears. Today, we will get to know these unusual animals closer. We will also talk about which of the modern predators are actually their close relatives. Subscribe to the channel Age of Dinosaurs. This will allow you to be the first to know about new publications. And your likes and comments will help in the development of the channel. It will also promote the video according to the algorithms of the site and will help expand its audience. A large number of species belong to the Amphicyonidae family. Some of them were small, others grew to the size of a modern polar bear. These animals got their nickname for their bizarre appearance. The first researchers of these predators could not come to a consensus regarding their classification. Someone attributed them to the ancestors of the wolf. Someone considered them to be primitive bears. All amphicyons were characterized by the following features. A dog's head, the structure of paws, and the way of walking, like bears, as well as a complete cat's body and long tail. By the late Oligocene, the diversity of dog bear species reached its peak. Further, the developmental paths of each individual family were finally divided. Amphicyons themselves died out, and their place was taken by the ancestors of modern dogs, cats, and bears. Each of them began to develop different features of the structure. This happened in the process of settling around the planet under the influence of changing living conditions. The ancestors of dog bears, and indeed of all predatory animals, are meacids. These small primitive predators appeared about 65 million years ago. This means that the first of them could well see the death of the last of the dinosaurs. In the Miacida family, there were animals that lived both on the ground and in the trees. Not a single species of these animals exceeded the size of a modern marten. They fed on insects, birds, lizards, and small mammals like shrews or opossums. The first amphicyonids also did not differ in large sizes. It is noteworthy that they began their resettlement around the world from North America in a special way. In Europe, they ended up across the Atlantic Ocean. That is, dog bears did not cross the Bering Strait on a land bridge from Alaska to Chukotka. They sailed to the western islands of the European continent. Then the amphicyonids began to spread across Africa and Asia. The representatives of the family who left America chose their own path of evolutionary development. They began to increase in size and switched to foot walking according to the principle that modern bears use. Their weapons were not speed and agility, but strength and a large mass. Amphicyon largely, who lived in France, Germany, and Turkey in the period from 17 to 9 million years ago, weighed about 180 to 200 kilograms. His height reached 1.7 meters. That is, in size, it was close to the largest representatives of modern cats, lions, and tigers. And the earliest Amphicyon grew to 2.5 meters in length and could weigh up to 300 kilograms. This animal lived in Europe and possibly North Africa around 16 to 24 million years ago. Dog bears, which remained in their historical homeland in North America, began to develop in a different way. Their way of moving and hunting was close to the behavior of modern large cats. That's why they looked the same. A characteristic representative of the Amphicyonid family for this area was such a predator as Diphonodon. In the period from 21 to 16 million years ago, several species of these dog bears lived on the territory of the modern United States. The largest of them had a length of about 160 centimeters, of which 70 centimeters fell to the tail. Their height did not exceed 80 centimeters, and their weight was 100 kilograms. 
The structure of their body suggests that Daphonodons have relied on ambush tactics or high speed in the pursuit of prey. Their limbs and their structure have common features with both panthers and wolves along with cheetahs. These evolutionary changes, according to most scientists, were associated with the emergence of the so-called Great Plains. Huge prairies ran across the entire continent, forcing all animals to adapt to changing climate and landscape. Judging by the available data, these amphicyanids could not reach high speed. It is unlikely that they could successfully hunt horses or deer. Most likely, tapirs and rhinoceroses, which were found in North America in large numbers, were the main prey of Daphonodons. It is reliably known that only one of the species of these predators was a pack animal. But almost all modern large predators, having common habits and structure with dog bears, are loners. Therefore, scientists suggest that large Daphonodons did not lead a flocking lifestyle. The path of development they chose eventually played a cruel joke on the Daphonodons. Approximately 19 million years ago, their larger European relatives, in the process of settling to the east, reached Siberia and the Far East. This time, they nevertheless used the land bridge across the future Bering Strait. There was a reconquest of America by dog bears. Already after two to three million years, all local species became extinct, unable to withstand competition with larger predators. The new owners of the North American continent have occupied the niche of large predators. In their way of life, they were more like modern bears, although they were most likely omnivores. Their diet consisted mostly of meat. That is, they behaved more like white bears than brown bears. The first among the new species of American dog bears was the Amphicyon galushai. His remains, dating from 18.8 to 17.5 million years ago, were found in Nebraska. This new predator was described by Robert Hunt Jr. in 2003. At the disposal of the scientists at that time were the remains of 15 individuals of this species. Among them was a well-preserved skull, three jaws, some teeth, and other elements. A little later, about the same territory, such a species as the Amphicyon friendes lived. The time of existence of this large representative of the order of dog bears is determined in the range from 16 to 17.5 million years ago. His remains were first described in 1924. Later, the fossilized bones of this predator were found in other states. Described in 1988, the specimen could have weighed more than 135 kilograms during its lifetime. Similar parameters are typical for other bear dog species of this period. One of the largest representatives of the family is the Amphicyon Ingens, which became extinct around 14 million years ago. According to various estimates, its maximum weight could be 220 to 550 kilograms. The body length of this predator was 2.5 meters and the height was 120 centimeters. Of the Asian varieties of dog bears, Amphicyon palinicticus is one of the most studied. It was discovered in 1876 by paleontologist Richard Lediker. The remains of his animal were found in Pakistan. It is rather difficult to accurately determine the distribution area and period of existence of this Asian predator. Initially, all finds of bear dog fossils in this region were attributed exclusively to this species. In 1910, another species of dog bears, Amphicyon leticari, was discovered there. It is considered the youngest species known to science that belongs to this family. The creators of the Dinosaur Age channel expressed their deep gratitude to the viewers who watched our video to the very end. If you want to know more interesting scientific facts, then we recommend that you look at previous issues. They contain materials about both dinosaurs and other extinct animals. 
Our channel also talks about human evolution and modern environmental problems. See you on the next video.